God is more concerned about our spiritual freedom than he is about our physical freedom. I'll say it again. God is more concerned about our spiritual freedom than he is our physical freedom. We know this to be true. Physical freedom can be restricted. It can even be taken away from us. But spiritual freedom in Jesus has no hands to shackle. It has no feet that you put into stocks. And it's just like Jesus himself said in John chapter 8, verse 36. He says, so if the Son sets you free, you really will be free. Paul didn't just recognize this to be true, but he lived it. He had the opportunity to live it out in front of us by losing physical freedom. And he says this to Timothy in 2 Timothy 2, verses 8 through 9. He, he writes this, Remember Jesus Christ, risen from the dead and descended from David, according to my gospel, for which I suffered to the point of being bound like a criminal, but the word of God is not bound. Restrictions can be, cannot be placed on the word of God. You cannot restrict what God has said and stop it from going forward. It's living, it's active, it goes forth, it cuts uh, right to the center of our hearts, it cuts right to the core of our issues, and no physical restraint can stop God's word from doing that. We can be jailed, we can be beaten, we can be killed, and the word of God will continue to do its work. And that really begs the question, and this is what I really want to challenge us with this week in our devotional. Why should the church ever be afraid of being treated like Jesus? Why should the church ever fear being treated like Jesus was treated? If God glorified his name in the most powerful way through the suffering of the Savior, through the resurrection of Christ, then why would we ever fear being treated in the same way that he was treated? We should welcome the suffering that comes with being a Christian, the restrictions that come along, all of the persecution in the same way that the early church in Acts did. But I think so many times we are far more concerned about our physical freedom than the spiritual freedom that God wants to not only work in our lives, but work through us into other people's lives, through our physical impediment, if you will. I wanna challenge us, love souls more than you love physical freedom. Love souls that are lost more than you love your physical freedom. Let us rejoice should we be given the privilege of suffering for the name of our Savior. God is going to work through us in seasons where we are put through hardship physically. And I just want to encourage you guys, the season that we're in is not over. The things that we're going through have not completed and these things will come and go, we know this, but persecution will continue to ramp up as we get closer to the day when Christ returns. But I really wanna encourage you guys to recognize that our suffering is a way for us to share in the suffering of Christ and to recognize that he works powerfully, spiritually in times like this. We don't have to be physically free. The word of God is not bound. God bless you guys. Join us on Sunday morning at 11 a.m. We'll be on Facebook Live with our church service, and we see the time coming very, very soon that we'll be able to be together physically. God bless you guys. We'll talk to you soon.